Hello, my name is Keith Bennett, design engineer for isolated mixed signal micromodule products. The LTM9100 is a highly integrated 22 by 9 millimeter module designed to control the turn on rate of a high voltage supply ranging up to 1000 volts DC by controlling a series N channel MOSFET or IGBT. Common terms for this function are hot swap controller, inrush current limiter, slew rate limiter, hot plug controller, and surge current protector. Whatever the circuit is called, its purpose is the same, to minimize peak current by limiting the rate of change of applied voltage. Let's take a look at a simplified power input circuit. It includes a source voltage with resistance and inductance, a fuse, series switch, and capacitive load typical of a power conversion input stage. In addition, the source voltage often feeds many parallel load circuits. Let's look at the consequences of having uncontrolled inrush current in this power distribution network. Without a slow or controlled turn on of the switch, high peak currents result, which can easily exceed the switching element ratings, leading to destruction or decreased operational lifetime. If the system includes a fuse, it may blow. Fuse selection to protect the load is next to impossible if it must also withstand inrush current. Inrush current can create voltage transients on the main power supply lines, which are made worse with inductance in the path as shown, and can disturb, corrupt, or damage other subsystems on the power network. Inductance can also cause the load voltage to ring up to two times the applied voltage, potentially damaging the load. Limiting the inrush current solves all of these issues. Inrush current is typically associated with capacitors. However, many loads experience high peak current to turn on. The table here shows various loads in associated inrush current multiplier of steady state operating current. The plot below shows inrush current into a 500 VA control transformer. As you can see, the peak current is nearly 35 amps, whereas the steady state current is near 1 amp. Inrush current limiting is accomplished in many ways with NTC thermistors, which are inexpensive but require a cooling delay before they can protect in a restart situation. The next method is series resistors with shorting element, which tend to be expensive and bulky and require a turn on delay timer. AC applications can use a zero crossing triac and are effective for single line cycles only. Use of an active power factor correction circuit is complex and expensive, but is a good solution to inrush if PFC is already required in the system. The last common method is inductive input filtering with damping, and the passive components are bulky and expensive, and the filter can be complicated to design. Integrated circuits are available to limit inrush current and are generally designated as hot swap controllers. These devices are inexpensive and require few external components for the application. Illustrated here is a negative controller with power derived from the incoming voltage bus. A limitation of negative controllers is they require level shifting to a positive supply voltage for processor control. Another limitation is the operating voltage. In general, integrated circuit fabrication processes are limited to 100 volts or less, limiting the application space. The addition of a series resistor and Zener diode shunt regulator can extend the useful operating range. The maximum voltage is then limited by the MOSFET voltage rating, level shifter rating, and power dissipation of the shunt regulator. The LTM9100 overcomes all these limitations. Isolation allows the control or logic side to be connected to any control voltage independent of the bus voltage. The isolation barrier in the LTM9100 is rated for a working voltage of 690 volts RMS or 1000 volts DC, with a typical operating lifetime of 20 years. The isolation barrier can also withstand ESD transients up to 20 kV. The LTM9100 is nearly self-contained, requiring only a few components to complete the application. Let's take a look at the positive high side case. Here, as before, the IC is powered by the incoming voltage bus. Level shifting of the control signals is not required since the IC is already referenced to a positive voltage. However, the operating voltage is still limited due to the IC voltage supply limitation, and also in this case by the voltage across the drain source of the MOSFET. A shunt regulator can be added as before. However, now the ground reference of the IC is floating and therefore, any control signals must be level shifted down to the control voltage. 
It must be noted that since sense resistor is on the drain side of the MOSFET, its common mode range extends from the input voltage down to near zero volts. Even if isolation were to be added, the IC still needs to support the full operating voltage across it. Here, the LTM9100 is shown connected in a positive high side application. As before, isolation allows the logic side to be connected to nearly any control voltage. The isolation barrier supports up to 690 volts RMS or 1000 volts DC. Current sensing has also been moved to the source side of the MOSFET. Now only the isolation barrier and MOSFET voltage rating limit the application space. So what applications need more than 100 volts? There are many applications for voltages over 100 volts, or applications which require some level of safety insulation requirements. The LTM9100 is designed using three or more layers of insulation in both the isolated data and power pass, achieving a reinforced insulation rating. Most top slot controllers are designed for systems of 48 volts or less. Since it's slightly higher voltage, the safety certifying bodies, UL, CSA, and IC, consider the voltage as hazardous. This means that the operating voltage is high enough to pose a risk to human life. The voltages of particular interest are rectified 120, 240, or 480 volts AC, as these are common equipment in industrial voltages. In addition, electric vehicles, solar, avionics, military, and telecom all use higher voltages. The LTM9100 also integrates filtering and protection for all signal lines which touch the bus voltage. This results in a minimum ESD rating of all these pins to plus or minus 8 kV relative to VEE or VS, in addition to the 20 kV barrier rating. Filtering allows the system to ride through transient conditions, ensuring the system remains operational. The added protection in addition to isolation provides an extremely robust system against noise and transients commonly encountered in power conversion systems. The LTM9100 includes many other useful features as a power entry gateway, including over current limiting, circuit breaker protection, and analog to digital conversion of sense current in two other selectable voltages. The module includes extensive fault monitoring features. All isolated side supply voltages are monitored to ensure that the gate pin has sufficient voltage to fully enhance the external MOSFET, and that all internal control signals have sufficient voltage to ensure the system remains in a known, safe, and controllable state. Pins are provided to program bus undervoltage and overvoltage, and the sense connection allows programming of overcurrent. The control provides current limiting with a circuit breaker timer. If a voltage of greater than 2 millivolts is sensed with gate off, this triggers a FET short fault. Power good signals indicate when the gate voltage is high and the external device is on. The system includes auto retry for under and over voltage by default and overcurrent if programmed. The LTM9100 includes an SM bus compatible I2C interface. Not required to operate, but provides access to detailed fault reporting and status as well as the ADC conversion results. A demonstration board is available to evaluate the LTM9100 in two configurations, the Dash A for 48 volt systems and the Dash B for 380 volt systems. The board may be configured for both high side and low side application and includes a 330 microfarad capacitor, which may be wired in as the load. The MOSFET switch is designed to be easily changed to evaluate alternate devices, or replaced if the SOA is exceeded during the evaluation process. The board may be controlled with individual signals or by computer using Linear Technologies Quick Eval System. It is compatible with Linduino and example code is provided. Thank you for watching.